Hello everyone. You are most welcome for part 3 of our discussion. Remember it's a continuation of this paper on the screen. Yes, still me taking you through Sadiq Sebi are my names and on the screen are my telephone contacts. Yes, uh, on part 3 we are going to look at uh, creating queries. And on this paper, there are like uh, four queries we are going to come up with. Yes, uh, let me open the question paper. Yes, of course, this is the question paper. Now let me open our uh, database with our what? With our table. Yes. It is here, call the liners. I'm opening it. Yes, it has opened. Let me close this let me enable the content aha uh -huh. yes the question is saying create queries to retrieve roman number one all mail workers in the database and call it mail workers the name of the query is going to be what mail workers and the other condition is it must only contain mail workers that is the role of queries in a database management software it extracts exact uh, records needed yes it retrieves the exact records needed like for this case the records needed are only mail workers okay in the given what data here okay on the given uh, records which are here okay aha uh -huh. Now, for you to answer that part, for you to answer this part of this query, yes, on your database here, call liners have opened, come to create under queries. At this moment, let us leave query wizard. Let us use query design. Come to query design, click on it. You will see this dialog box. Let me drag it as you see it. Yes. You see this dialog box. It will tell you the number, I mean the name of the table I are going to use to create the query. For this case, we have only one table called what? Liners table. You add it. Click on add. You close from here or else up there. Then here, what you do is you double click on these fields or else you can also enlarge it so that you expose all the fields okay these are the fields you are going to use to design your query you one of the option is you'll be double clicking on those fields so that they are filled here okay they are filled here let me double click then the next query also so for you another option okay now let us use this option of who? double clicking on these fields one by one i've double clicked you see it has come here i've double clicked also on surname it is here first name is here sex is here date of birth is here allowance is here days there total allowance there lastly tax which is there okay now what does the paper say the paper saying only male workers okay only male workers if you look at the sex there must be only male workers therefore the criteria is going to be you follow the line of criteria it is written criteria okay this line here of criteria this area here you coordinate it criteria to sex to be this field this area here this cell here then you type there m because you use the m not so you use the m you can see this area of sex use the m okay so what did i say after selecting our fields here across come to the criteria see the problem the problem is under sex connected to the criteria the criteria is letter m okay it is letter what m capital m okay you space it a bit capital m 
then you click on run query after putting that criteria click on run query let me click on run query at this moment uh -huh. so you see that our queries here only has what male workers if you check across sex you only see m's retrieved okay yes you click on save to save this query we have made give the name of the query the name of the query the question paper is mail workers you type here mail i prefer in capital letters mail workers so okay yeah that is our query created you see we have created our mail workers if you click there you only see what mail workers if you want to see how you have derived to this you open it you open your query go to home menu click on the design view it will bring you back here okay it will bring you back here that's where we examiners we mark you from here okay if you don't see this you risk getting your marks i hope i'm very clear aha uh -huh. thank you now uh let us go to the next query roma number two create a query to retrieve only female workers now if you want to only retrieve female workers here what do you do first go and create the query what do you do go to create on your home i mean on your menu bar okay on your menu bar click uh, click on create come to query design choose still the same table add it then you close okay Aha, i'm enlarging so that you see all the fields needed at this moment let me not use the double clicking option let me use another option so that option is <coughs> on top of your first field you see asterisk a star something like that okay if you click on it okay this time on your keyboard control a to select all the fields at the same time okay i'm controlling control plus a yes control plus a it selects all those fields in that uh, box then you pick on the line id the first you know you have to pick when this selection is there don't click it will remove the selection let me click on the star again control a yes this time just come to the liners id pick and drop it here pick this first id drop it on the first field here you'll see others getting done okay yeah i'm doing it let me select again click on this asterisk or that star control a come to liner id select drag and drop the first field here don't drop under table put it under that field then you leave you see it has placed itself once this one is good for you in examination room if you want to catch up with the time okay uh-huh yes and then you follow the criteria the question is saying you extract only female employees or female workers of that company so you follow the criteria this line the word is here criteria you follow it follow from what i'm indicating you follow the criteria you move under sex again sex then you type the f capital f type there capital f once if you have spaced it then you click on run query okay you run it you see this click on run you'll see all the female employees in that company is extracted retrieved well here you can see there's no mail here it is just the opposite of the other one of, of male workers this time it is female workers click on save now they are saying give it a what give it an appropriate name by giving it an appropriate name what do you say let us say it is female female workers save the names in capital letters so that you be very smart uh-huh you see our queries there are two queries all the queries will be uh, listed here by the way if you open this one is female if you open this one is for male this one is for female this one is for male 
I hope it, you are getting up. Yes, if you are still catching up, there are still more queries for you two to go. Okay, now the third option is saying create a query to retrieve workers. Okay, to retrieve workers whose allowance is over 120,000. Workers whose allowance is over a hundred and twenty thousand. Yes, come on, guys. What do you do? Back to your database, go on your menu, but just create uh, your query as usual. You click on create, come to uh, query design, click on there, select your table, then add it, then you close. Okay. If you want to enlarge this to see all your fields, okay. You either double click, let me double click, then you shall summarize with the uh, drag and drop. Okay, this one is for slow learners. Uh huh. Uh huh. If dragging is hard, double click on those fields one by one, you see them adding up. Then remember what does the question need from you before you run this query. Okay. The question is saying you are to extract workers whose allowance is of over a hundred and twenty thousand. You save it as above one hundred and twenty. Okay. Now you come to the criteria. Follow the problem is under what they said. They said what whose allowance? Let us see the field for allowance. Uh huh. There. Let us use the allowance per day. Okay, criteria allowance per day here greater than 120,000. Then you run the query. You see, it has extracted, it has extracted people who earn more than 120,000. They are here. Okay, then you say save, give your query name. They say it is greater. What the the, the, the the what the query name has to be above 120 like that you see this is the third query call above 120 if you want to look the, at the criteria come home the design view you'll be able to see the criteria there let me enlarge for you uh -huh. that is a criteria we have put above 120 still query the last query is saying you have to make it for workers whose surnames end with letter E. Call it query E. Okay. Uh, those whose surname end with the letter E. Those whose surname end with letter E. Let me see. For this case, we have Mabele. We have Aule. We have Angopale. Then last, we have Anyole. Okay, these ones. If you want to extract them, what you're going to do in your query is go create it. Click on create on the menu bar. Click on query design. Select your table. Add it. Close it. Uh -huh. This time let us click on the asterisk or star. We control A. Get the first field drag and drop on the first word field here okay then it spreads across then you go and fulfill the condition you come under surname is here vices criteria for the criteria under surname click there then you can put this criteria needed from you this condition needed from you with letter e now what i'm going to put here is ending with letter e you start with the, a wild card symbol that is asterisk. That's asterisk. You can call it a star or multiplication sign, but it's called asterisk here in this case. Okay. Put on the asterisk mark. Yes. Then put that letter which is ending with. It is letter E. That is all. That is all. You see? Now, if you are to start with the E, then you put the asterisk, meaning that the surname has to start with that letter E, 
then it continues. That asterisk summarizes the continuation of whatever is going to happen thereafter. Now, if you want that letter in the middle, what do you put? You have to start with asterisk, meaning that you don't mind how the name starts with, okay? But in the middle, it has to be letter E. Then asterisk, the way it ends to not bother you, okay? That is, you have to understand the three differences. I've brought it for you here as a bonus, okay? But the paper only wants you to put a, a criteria whereby certain letter has to end with it, but the letter given is letter E. What are you going to put? You put the asterisk first, okay? Then letter E, okay? You can space it. Then you run your query. You see this? It has extracted those people have told you there are four, okay? You click on save. You name the query as E. What's the name of the query? Query E. Okay? Query E. Okay. If you open, that is it. Okay? That is it. What else? We are finished today. Queries. Okay? There are very many queries. Okay? But in our uh, next episodes, we shall be looking at them. Okay? So if you have another complicated one there, please don't hesitate. Contact me or send for me that paper. We shall do it together. Okay? Uh -huh. Thank you for following me because today we have really achieved those four queries. So if you practice it slowly, you'll be able to understand it. Thank you for following my videos. See you in the next one. It will be part what? Four. Part four is going to be about creating a report, okay? To display all details of workers, okay? So in our part four, we're going to look at how to create what? a report in microsoft access remember to share the link sharing is caring we are all doing this so that we learn from our own homes coronavirus is real let us stay safe and we follow the guidelines laid on the ground Bye-bye.